This is my quiver today. I got a Rook, a Spine Tech Chow, and a PU Chow. Oh. I rode the Rook yesterday, but then even though I was riding it, I was like, I reckon I should ride a Chow. Are we go on the Chow? I think so. I'll match PU. up. I'll go a Chow. Yeah. Chow versus Chow. <laughs> chow versus Chow. Thing Let's this thing That's up. your favorite quiver, isn't it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. Bunny chow. Something that needs to be renamed. Something that needs to be really renamed. Really quickly. Yeah, I'm sick of telling everyone what the bottom, the model name this is. This is Connor's model now, <laughs> baby. And why it's called that. See, oh, you just don't understand how many people are like, why is it called that? And I'm like, I have to explain it because it's not mine. Then they're like, well, George doesn't ride CO anymore. And well, I'm like, it's not mine it's when he was riding it. Well, there's a good bit of history there, isn't there? There is. Because, I mean, for me, even personally, the bunny chow is a Conor O'Leary model. Yeah, for a but lot no, of people. But no, it's not. It's actually Geordie Smith. The only that. person that rides it, apart from you, that gets your bung, bung and board riders win. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about that. The champ! Yes. <laughs> you think the rookie of the year is good. We got that real shit, baby. Oh, here we go. Put that away. Some <laughs> magic touch right there, mate. <laughs> hey, a few boards. Yeah, we got the Mod Pod, Fish Beard, couple of staffs, Spinies, all Chows. The board I've probably ride, been riding the most is the Mid, though. Mate, the Mid has been. Wow. Well, we saw that Roundhouse. Uh... Off hey, rocks. I'm still saying this to people that it's the best roundhouse cutback I've ever done in my life. And no one believes me. That's about it. Like, pretty much just rooks, chows, and a couple of fun boards. That's your go-to. That's pretty much my go-to. But, I mean, nothing will, nothing will replace a chow, to be honest, in small waves, for me. It's got me through a lot of heats. It's, uh, it's had me a lot of really fun surfs. I don't know, like, it's one of those models for me personally that I can ride every day and enjoy every surf on it. And I feel like that's the perfect surfboard if you were thinking of a surfboard that will go in anything. Yeah, that's the board that's, my, that's for me. To be honest, it wasn't love at first sight. Mm. But the Chow, the very first board I had, the first I've had on it, I was like, it's not that good. It's okay turned out to be like a board that I rode the whole year and didn't even ride it in free surfs, just took it to events and rode it the day before, caught three waves. By the end of it, it was like the most brown, gross looking thing, but it was still kicking, I was still making heaps on it, so yeah. In 2018, I feel like I got really complicated with surfboards and tried to go too far in depth with trying different models to yeah. try and try and make you know something different out of what I've usually been riding, and then that didn't work out at all. You guys are getting so many boards at one time. Yeah. If you're jumping between models, yeah, it's it got to be pretty. It was just confusing, like into in 2018 because the year I fell off. It was just 
I just got confused and you know I, had, I was fortunate enough to work with Brit who was amazing and different shapers have different outlooks on things and yeah just kind of I think the communication was off between you know myself and Brit and Penny two different shapers two different outlooks on things therefore you're not going to get consistency heaps of confusion so much confusion and and it was on and because I was so busy I wasn't communicating enough yeah therefore led the confusion to make it way worse than what it should have been yeah yeah <laughs> so like I've been trying I've been riding the mid the sour mid yeah having a blast just riding things that going back to basics just bit. going back to basics mate keeping it simple yeah it's good and you really you really figure out parts of your surfing that need attention. Yeah. It's really cool to go back, you know, take a step back and do the simple things. unsure of if the tour is going to be on or not. I doubt it's going to be on, but I feel like I'm going to try and keep that same trajectory to the end of the year if it's off. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it different so I can be adaptable. Yeah. Just to keep it interesting. Because, you know, doing the same thing every day, every, you know, in and out, it's definitely brought a part of my surfing that has made it more fun doing the simple things to then help my, you know, High performance surfing, so it's been good. That's what's going on here. <laughs> Connor O'Leary, thank you, brother. What a time. Thank what you, a mate. catch up. Thanks, yeah, mate. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>